GG Season 3 Episode 8 Review. Welcome. As usual, the episode's linked in the description. If you haven't seen it, check it out now before I spoil the hell out of it. First and foremost, I have to comment on Solo Mission's Inner Circle that I teased at the end of last review. That was, as you all probably know by now, just bait. I couldn't resist doing it. I had no idea the circle existed at the time, and neither of us trusted the other at all, so I, he didn't invite me. No surprise. Let's get started with the daily challenge. To decide teams, we had to make a loaf of bread like in the cook's assistant quest from scratch as quickly as possible without buying the ingredients from the cold romancer's chest. I instantly threw this challenge because I bought a jug in a bucket instead of a jug in a pot. I think in my head, I was like, oh, people might buy out the buckets so I should get a jug because I wanted a jug of water, but instead I ended up buying both the jug and the bucket and not the pot. It's just so easy to make mistakes like that when you're thinking a few steps ahead in a challenge and not focusing on the present. Losing this one was enough to net me one of the last places, which put me in the three-man team with Torvesta and Eviescape. For complicated orders, I think this was a pretty big disadvantage. And I mean, we probably could have won if we played really well, but we didn't, and so we ended up losing and we all got an extra vote on our heads. Now, before I get to voting and the rest of the episode, I have to mention the chocolate bar drama. I literally have a clip on my computer its name is chocolate bar drama so before the challenge we clarified like multiple times that you could not buy an ingredient from a shop if it was available somewhere as a spawn and when i say multiple times i mean like four different people asked it it was so bad that eviescape turned his camera on and started like pointing a gun at people through his camera <laughs> to stop asking questions about the rules so one of the orders involved a chocolate cake now the cake was no problem the chocolate, on the other hand, my team was the only one that actually followed the rules, which meant that we could get the chocolate from the only spawn we could remember, which was in the Cook's Guild. You can buy it from the No Stronghold, but... And, yeah, like, and you can buy it from RFD chest, but we it. said... We said you only have to get spawns. Only empty containers only, so... But can I don't... You, make chocolate? you can't make I've it. The question egg, is, the can way. you find it? Now, there's one in Zanaris, too, but we didn't remember that. We were just thinking of the one in the Cook's Guild. And to get into the Cook's Guild, you need a chef's hat. The easiest way to get a chef's hat is to murder a bunch of goblins. So while everyone else just bought their chocolate bar from the RFD chest and finished their order in like two minutes, we were just sitting there killing goblins. Like I had a rune light pill log of like 112 goblins because I didn't get the stupid drop and the other guys were killing them too. So we ended up taking like at least like probably three or four minutes longer than any other team on that order and they all just made fun of us like really bad when we got to back to the duel arena like we were complete morons there was like just a huge mess as a result of that about how the round should be handled because we wanted to be given the winning time we were the only ones who followed the rules and had we just bought the chocolate it wouldn't have taken long at all we would have probably gotten like first or second Everyone knew it's, empty like, containers there's only. There's got to be absolutely no way that we don't get the best time in this. Like, we're the only ones that did it right. And I think someone else in the call thought that we wanted to be handed the entire daily challenge win for all five rounds just by DQing everyone for, like, buying the chocolate here, which was probably what caused a lot of the controversy because that was, like, absolutely not what we were going for. We were just thinking, like, well, we should probably win the challenge by, like, 15 or 30 seconds or something because we were the only ones who followed the rules we should just straight up like if you're going to do the 60 seconds thing we should get the best time by 60 seconds agreed yeah i think that's that makes sense because yeah he's like you're four and a half minutes slower it's like no shit we slayed like 150 <laughs> goblins like what do you mean and i mean eventually soup just decided to scrap the whole round and replace it with another order which was probably for the better it wasn't really fair but rule breaking like this isn't something soup really has control over since he can't monitor every single person live the chocolate was the wildest example of this because of how long it took us to complete the order so it was really obvious but some much more minor rule breaking definitely slipped by here and there and ultimately i doubt it changed the outcome of how the team's placed it's just like sort of unavoidable with a challenge like this there's so many little rules and clarifications that have to be made that someone's gonna screw it up at some point. Although it was fun, it was a big mess. Anyway, Torvesta, Evie, and I lose the challenge. No surprise, we're the three-man team, and even if we had all played better, it still would have been extremely tough to pull out the win. For votes, I wasn't too worried at all about being voted into the banning. The team with the power was Framed, Will, Tasty, and Zoe. 
I trusted that Framed and Will should have my back, and that meant that if Tasty kept voting with Frame like he had been, I'd be safe, no matter how Zoe voted. So Framed hit my DMs and let me know that Team 2 was voting for Torvesta, and it was going to come down to how Tasty and Zoe voted to ensure that he went in. And he ended up going in unanimously, so it seemed like at least Tasty, if not Zoe, were willing to vote with Framed and potentially his alliance, which I was working with. When it came to the winning team's banning choice, I was a lot less confident. Team 1 was immune, and Zoe and Tasty were immune, which meant that it could only be Framed, Will, Eviescape, or me against Torvesta. I figured there was pretty much no reason for Will to go in, because he didn't have any enemies, and then I think that Settled would want Eviescape in, but he'd probably be more focused on protecting Framed. Frame messaged me and told me that he was trying to get Eevee in, but it didn't seem promising, and Eevee probably would be getting protected by Foe, who is in his alliance. So the only person I thought I could trust not to put me in was probably Settled, and I knew that I was going to be lower on his priority list than Framed if he could only save one of us. Foe and Solo would definitely be willing to pick me. I couldn't think of any reason either of them would save me, and then Bodhi was a wild card who probably wouldn't save me either. So pretty much as expected, I got put into the banning. Frame sent me a message that confirmed Solo was at least partially responsible for throwing me in, and I mean, I, I just already assumed that he and Foe were the main driving forces behind it. Solo sent me an apology too for putting me in and then wished me good luck, and I wasn't sure yet whether he knew that Framed had already sold him out to me, but I hadn't trusted him since the first week he put me in four weeks ago. So I just assumed he was trying to manipulate me, and I was like, I'll just take the good luck at face value, you know? And I told him, I don't deserve to be here if I lose. So I was pretty mad, I guess, but I was a lot more focused on the banning, and I was, like, mentally prepared to go in. I'd been feeling some imposter syndrome at this stage, because, you know, I came in as a sub, I hadn't really proved myself, I'd won one banning, it was easy because it was based on the GP that we earned in the challenge, so it was like a free win because we had so much more gear to work with. I was going against Torvesta, who hadn't lost a banning, and I thought that I had a pretty good chance, unless it was like a pure skill PvP banning. I figured I had a good shot to win anything. I'm going to include my banning footage here because I detailed like my whole thought process throughout the whole thing. I think there was a lot I did well, and then there was a lot more that I could have done better. But uh, if you're not interested in watching that, no problem. I'll put a timestamp in the description and feel free to just click it and skip straight to the rest of the video because this will be like a, I guess, a 20 minute video or something because the banning was pretty long. Editor's note, the audio had insane wind noise in the background for some reason. Like, I guess it was my fan or something way louder than usual. So the audio is a little scuffed because I had to remove that or at least try to minimize it. Oh man, all right, this is where I find out whether or not I deserve to be here. We will see. 15 seconds, okay, the goal is no panicking. I know I'm gonna know probably at least half of them, hopefully. Let's, let's get it. All right, lit candle, that one's easy. We'll get that right away. Torvest is in the same spot. He teleported away though, interesting. So I need a tinderbox, Black Scimitar, Arty Castle, Rotten Apple, West Ardoin, uh, there's Canifus, there's uh, the Nature Spirit area, Drainer Manor, Ardoin again, there's so much stuff from Ardoin. There's also Repellent. Oh, what the hell? How do you do that? Did he like spellbook swap on me? That's some rat shit. All right, I'll just hop. I don't need to be in the same world as him, it'll help me more later. It only cost me a few seconds. That's not going to decide the challenge, I don't think. It almost did. Unless hopping takes 16 years, in which case it might. All right. We get the candle. I'll need a tinderbox for that. Not too worried about it. I don't think he grabbed the bug repellent here. We'll see. Maybe he did. But I got that. That should be this. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Artie because there's so many things there. Pop a stamina. Okay, so what's up here? We've got Burnt Bones. I think you can burn those yourself. I'm not 100% sure. Garlic, Bronze Arrow Tips. You can buy those at the Ranging Guild. I know like almost all these items. If Alex doesn't, I think I can win this. Pot of Cream. Get one of these Pigeon Cages from here. The Rotten Apple I can get up or I can get west. I don't know if I can get it up north in that one uh, 
thing. I know I can get it west though, so I'm gonna get it there. Um, what else is an arty? Holy Simba Mold, Cabbage, Toy Horsey. Uh, I think that beer is a beer that starts full and then you drink it. I think that's a tough one. Not sure what that green drink is. It's not a Greenman's Ale. There's a tile. I'm trying to remember where to get the tile. I don't off the top of my head. Hopefully I'll remember it over time. One thing at a time though, one thing at a time. I'll need to get a tinderbox still. I'll get this rotten apple. Um, the brain from Cannabis Pub. Black Scimitar is also an RD. I kind of trolled. I'll just tell you back and go there. Um, okay, Pickled Brain. I'm not sure what that book is. I don't even know if having the wiki will help me with that book. I don't think I'm going to get it. Broken Arrow, I think you can get from... Ah, shit, where do you get a Broken Arrow from? I want to say there's some at the Ranging Guild, but I'm not 100% sure. Um... Okay, so the black scimitar, I literally used to use this as a money-making method back in the day. Um, should be here. There we go. Oh, shit, that wasn't what I meant to do. Okay. Kick lock. Okay, there we go. Black scimitar. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go do... Canifus. Uh, oh, you can't. Okay, whatever. I'll just go to house and then use fairy ring. It's fine. Um, it's called. Uh, I'm just panicking. That was stupid, but oh well. It's fine. Um, so what do I get in Canifus? I get this pickled brain. I can get this, which is fairy ring VIP. Um. I went to, I should have gotten bronze arrow tips when I was in Catherby, but that's okay. So I got the pickled brain. It's fine, I'll just buy it. Okay, pickled brain. Uh, BIP for fairy ring. BIP. Okay, uh, there's drainer manor still. And garlic, those I can get in Drainer. I can also get the Toy Horsey. Okay, we're going to fall. That's fine. There's no way it takes me back. Oh my gosh. What is this? Accounts Agility, bro. It's fucking 80. There's no way. Imagine if I lose because I'm failing the Stepping Stone 15 times. There's no chance. What is happening? Okay. Jeez, dude. Terrible. Um... Okay, so burnt bones. I think that thing is from the blast furnace, I want to say. There's the Barrows book from the old man, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's go drainer here. Okay. So something like tile I don't have to worry about because after 10 minutes I can look it up. So that's okay. Um... Okay, I think there's actually a Drainer Manor teleport. Oh, I should have bought the toy horse while I was there. I'm trolling. It's fine though. Um, Drainer Manor teleport. Grab that. Oh, there's no, <laughs> bro. Imagine Torvesta bought out every Drainer Manor teleport in the game. Okay, there we go. Go there. I should be able to get fish food here, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Ah, shit. I don't remember if... I think the skeleton in here is guarding the fish food. Is that how that works? No, it's the rubber tube. Where's the fish food? Shoot, it's here somewhere. I know it is. Um, It's upstairs. It's upstairs. This is the fish food. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, fish food, go back to Drainer Village, I gotta get the toy horse. Um, 
I don't know what that weird bow tie thing is. It's like a, oh, it's a disguise. Okay, so we get the black toy horsey. That's gonna go there. Uh, holy symbol mold, that's Alcarid, go dual arena. Oh, I trolled, my bad. Uh, there we go. Um, and then, so I should be able to get a holy symbol mold from the crafting shop here. I think that that book is the Barrows book, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, oops. Let's see, panning tray from the dig site. Uh, hold symbol mold. Okay. Uh, let's go back to get a dig site teleport. I want to go to the ranging guild. All right, um, so panning tray is here. Monk robe at the monastery, Tyrus helm. I don't remember what you say about if we need more in space. My brain is fried and I'm panicking, so I'm gonna need to be told. Let's go ranging guild. bank some of the items okay yeah well it's too late i'm already here oh i forgot you could just get a rotten apple from the crates at the things for like pelting bots in the stockades or whatever the heck they added them for but oh that's fine um so tile there's a disguise i don't know what that disguise is it's not the desert disguise that you get so i'm not 100 percent sure ranging guild i think i can buy is it here Yes, so bronze arrow tip. Um, garlic goes here. Broken arrow goes here. Um, burnt bones, I think I could just make those. Maybe not though, I'll, I'll worry about them later. Let's go to get a combat bracelet. Nope, that ain't it. I'm trolling. Okay. Monastery. Okay. Monk robe top here. The pink robe top, I think, is a gnome one. So I'll go for that next, just because it's kind of the same idea. Uh, we'll go, just go G. Or wait. Is that, am I trolling? I should go dual arena to glider, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so I can look things up now, 10 minutes. That's good. Uh, I'll do the ones I know first. We got the pink robe top, uh, the Tyrus helm, the pot of cream. I don't know what that weird thing in the bottom left is, some kind of like broken pole or something. Um, that's okay. So the pink robe top is a gnome robe top. Okay, now that I can wiki things, the game kind of changes because I can get things like the tile really easily that I wasn't 100% sure on where it actually spawns. Uh, gnome clothing shop is up here, I think. Should be, there we go. Um, Tyrus helm, that beer one is tough. Uh, I need a cabbage as well. Is it? The colors are all washed out in the... Thing. I'm not actually sure if that's the right one. I don't know. Um, let's see. Burnt bones, cabbage. Cabbage is easy. We'll just go like, where's the best place to get a cabbage? I'm like freaking out. It's uh, like Fallow, right? Let's go Fally. Um, okay, let me look up Tile. Tile OSRS. 
I know y'all do that. I'm a, I hope Stefan puts this in the video. It's like you just literally type what you need and then OSRS afterwards constantly. Um, okay, so it's wilderness. Somebody's about to PK me, bro. I will lose my mind. Um, Graveyard of Shadows. Yeah, that's the one that I probably would do. Um, I don't remember what teleport it is for that. Shoot. Uh, ain't there cabbages here? Am I tripping? Okay, that's the cabbage field. Uh, so Tyrus Helm is another easy one that I should knock out ASAP. Let me look up Burnt Bones. I think those are also Deep Wilderness. Uh, okay. Let's go just go to Catherby because I want to get the thing. Burnt Bones. Oh, no, there's hella places they spawn that aren't in the wilderness. Okay, perfect. Um, easiest one to do... Probably Kebos Lowlands, maybe? Um, or Lizardman Canyon. So I should, uh, let's see. So I think they spawn like Lizardman Canyon. Um, what's the fairy ring? DJR, okay. Uh, I have plenty of stamina as I can afford to just drop this, so. Go Tyrus Helm. Um, okay, I don't think I need most of the things I have on me right now. Uh, I want a Barrows teleport. I don't think I need the Ecto file or the Soul Runes. Um, let me get a. Uh, uh, shit. I'm trolling. It's uh, GE. Let me Google Kara. I'm going to Google Kara Longguard teleport to make sure it takes me to the spot I'm trying to go to because, yeah, okay. Okay, there should be a tile around here somewhere. Tile, tile, tile. There we go. Tile. Okay, um, let's go house teleport for the bones. Uh, this is what, DJR I think it was? Let's go DJR. I think I want to go north to the canyon. Um, how am I doing here? What do I, let's see, should be burnt bones somewhere around here. I gotta be careful. I think I can get like poisoned or something. Um, if I die to poison, I can just pick all my stuff back up. I'm not too worried about it, but are there any burnt bones here? This isn't great. Where? Am I tripping? Okay, I gotta get back to the photo. Am I still missing anything easy? I think I am. Pot of cream. I gotta get that like ASAP because I think it's already been close to time limit. I think I have about five minutes left. So I gotta make sure I get all the easy ones I know. Pot of cream is one of those. Um, Burnt Bones is one of those. There's this Beer Stein that I feel like I should know. I think if I look up beer in the wiki, I can figure out which beer it is and then get the cup. Um, I also don't... What the hell? Um, okay, that should be Burnt Bones, I think, probably. We'll give it a look. Uh, are they Burnt Bones? Yes, they are. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Um, let's go Lumbridge for the Pot of Cream. Uh, let's see, pot of cream, let's go, I should start organizing my inventory, so I know what I have, cabbage goes here, burnt bones go here, uh, the book from Barrows I think is what that other one is, I need to get that, four minutes, pot of cream, um, let's go back to Barrack. I still need a tinderbox to light this too. I'll do that next because otherwise I definitely will forget. Um, okay. 
but shit that probably isn't already in the bank here. Okay, perfect. Um, so I want to Barrow's Teleport. Okay, let's go get a Tinder... Oops, that ain't it. Let's go get a Tinder box to light the candle. Because otherwise I will forget to do that. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure out what this drink is. Crumbling Tome, that's the one. Um, so I don't have the disguise. I don't have the thing that looks like an engine, which I want to say is from the Blast Furnace, maybe. Um... I don't remember how you, how do you minigame teleport, dude? I don't remember. This is so bad. I think it's in the friends list thing, maybe? Or here? Uh, I want to say Blast Furnace is one of them. Um, okay, let me try to find that beer. Because there's like so many different types of beer. Beer tankard. Fremnik, I think. Okay, perfect. So for, that's from the Fremnik area. Uh, I don't know the best way to get there. I'll probably just ferry ring to like miscellanea or something because I don't remember. Or maybe not miscellanea. That's really far away. But uh, let me go look at the photo. So crumbling tome. I got that now. Um, there's the disguise. There's I got the tire helm. I got the panning tray. I got the pot of cream. Uh, surely I'm not going to lose this challenge, right? Is this is this what I think it is? Like a no, it's not what I thought. Okay, no. Um, so I don't know what the engine is. Uh, the green drink. I'm not sure. Let's do the Relica one before I before I forget. Um, so a good way to get to Relica is to go to what AJR. That's good enough. It's really far away actually, but. Off the top of my head, I'm like panicking and I can't think of a better way to get there. So I'll just go AJR to get that beer stein. Um, let's see. So, quest. All right, so the green drink. I don't know what the green drink is. Um, I'm missing the green drink. I'm missing the pole in the bottom left. I'm missing the engine and I'm the disguise and the blue book. What is that book? I've, I've seen it like a million times, and I think it might be like gnome related, um, but it's so fucking hard to like. Oh, you know what? It's the, it's the fucking, it's observatory. No, I'm not gonna get it in time though. I need this answer. Okay. I don't know if I can make it in time for the observatory book. I think I might be able to. It's going to be really close. Oh, it's going to be so close. I got to watch Discord to make sure that uh, I don't cheat. I feel like I crushed this challenge. I will be so shocked if I lose. I think I have like 24 or 23 of the items if I get this book. I'm so close. I don't know. I wish I knew what the green drink and the engine and stuff were. The problem is if I do win, everyone now is going to be like, he's so good at the game, even though I'm trash. All right, so I did get the book. That's big. Um, and I don't think I have time to get anything else. I don't know what they are. I'm going to look up like disguise. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna get the other ones. That's okay. Back to Dooley. Wait, I'll see if you have that book. Yeah, I, I just unmuted. Don't say anything that I shouldn't know. Nice um, nice oh, yeah, yeah. Can I like go take a bank trip yeah, real yeah, quick to get, grab my shit? Okay. Yeah. Luke, sorry, man. You had to get four thousand items. You only got twenty three. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> I'm in pain. This is a best of seven. There's gonna be seven different answers. <laughs> <of items again. laughs> Please no. <laughs> that's that's actual hell. Oh, One of these God. times you do need to have a comically long banning, like six hours, dude. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that, was, yeah. that was a Darks one, man. <laughs> I genuinely had the suggestion of making you guys all do 
a dragon slayer from scratch on a free to play account <laughs> as a challenge. <laughs> Dude. Last player to give up wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do a myth the base challenge. Just put us all in a room and the last person to leave wins. Dude, Dead Man Mansions V2, bro. Um, if it does end up being a tie, we're just going to have um, whoever got that LMS. final item first. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. One item separated both of you. No. Oh, oh, wow. A singular no. item. And that item was the astronomy book, which Luke got in the final 25 seconds. Oh, uh, oh. Which puts him one above Torvesta. Oh, uh, shit. That was the one that I couldn't find. Yeah. Ah. Which yeah. means that, uh, Luke, you win the Vanic today. Uh, no you way. 24 compared to Torvesta's 23. So I beat Torvesta in an insanely close banning 24 items to 23 collected out of the 28 from Soup's inventory. And I was really proud of myself for this one. I won solely off the back of my game knowledge, despite having barely played the game for the last couple of years. Now, I also have a couple of behind-the-scenes tidbits and clarifications that I can share from this one. First, I've already been asked a couple of times if I got the wrong color of Toy Horse. No, I didn't. It was black, and Soup's brightness in the screenshot that he shared was, I think, turned all the way up to highest, and I was playing, I think, on like right around the middle medium setting. So... It's the same exact horse, just looks different. And I think at some point I even turned my brightness all the way up to five just to make sure that it was the same color, like screenshot to my inventory when it was on high brightness. There's also the question of whether Torvesta would have won if he got the astronomy book from the bookshelf in his house. Technically, it should have been against the rules because we were only supposedly allowed to use the POH for like limited teleports with the fairy ring and the rejuve pool. So I'm really glad it didn't come down to this because things would have gotten more complicated, and if I would have won or lost around that technicality, it wouldn't have felt nearly as good as a clean win like I got. Another thing I want to talk about is I took a really, really long time to find burnt bones. I didn't want to risk the tiny chance that I'd go into the wild and run into a PKer, which was the only spot that I knew to find them. So I waited until I could use the wiki, and then I found that the Lizardman Canyon had them, and I went there. But the problem is I went to the wrong side with the shamans, and then I had to teleport out because I ran all the way to the far end and run all the way back to the other end with the small lizardmen to find the bones. I ended up wasting over a minute with this, and then it took an extra minute just to get it. I think if I had had an extra two or three minutes, I would have gotten probably, I mean, it's hard to say, but the broken fishing rod and lizard kicker drink, I think I could have done both of those if I'd had a couple more minutes to use the wiki at the end. And... I burned that time basically looking for burnt bones. On a similar note, there are like so many optimizations you can make for my run. In the moment, it's so hard to stay just perfectly calm and do something like, say, I don't know, sit at the GE and buy all the teleports at the same time instead of just buying one at a time when you need them. Or, you know, only getting the best teleports. Like, I ended up teleporting to Sears Village and running to the Ranging Guild. Well, I could have just bought a combat bracelet, you know, and gone straight there, and that would have saved me probably, I don't know, at least 30 seconds. So, I mean, I missed a lot of opportunities to make my run faster, but it's so easy to say that in hindsight. You know, when you're in a banding and all the pressure's on, like, for me, it was all I could do to just stay calm and talk myself through everything. If I had been also focused on, oh, I should buy six teleports right now, and I should, you know, make sure that each teleport is the best one to get somewhere. You know, like, probably I could have Ring of Wealth the Miscellanea. I think to get to Relica probably would have been faster than the Fairy Ring. Maybe, I don't know. But um, that's not the kind of thing that you have time to think about. You know, you're making split decisions, split second decisions constantly during the banning. And I mean, oh, I looking back, it's like, man, I wish I, I probably could have gotten 26 items, but I was really happy with 24. And I was really surprised that Torvesta got 23. So props to him. Although on that note, I'll share a piece of info that I was given right after I won the challenge which was that Torvesta had received some help against me. And to be fair, this may not be true. So don't go flame Alex or look at him any differently or anything, because I do think he's an honorable guy and he was a great competitor. But I think it's worth mentioning because it lit a fire under me and made me like way more emotional during the confessionals with Soup later, because it felt like I'd been put into a banning against Torvesta and his alliance instead of just a pure 1v1, and I won it. I was hyped. I mean... I'm really, really competitive. So finding out 
that you won a 1v1 is like, okay, sick, I'm better, let's go. Finding out that you won a 1v1 that was stacked against you intentionally is like, I was so psyched. So I think that all of my confessionals and the responses I had to people in the call after the challenge and everything were colored by this information, even if it wasn't true, which it may not have been. So mainly due to that, this banning left me like super vindictive too. Part of my rant made the cut at the end of the episode where I was like, everyone I'm with is good, but like everybody else better watch their back. But it was like a really long rant that went on for a few minutes, which is why most of it probably didn't end up in the episode. And long story short, instead of whatever alliances I had thought people had, things I'd been tracking, whatever people claimed to have, I decided like, fuck all that. Alliances are dead. I'm going to have the backs of the people that I trust and hope that they're going to have my back too. And that list of people was very short. It was framed, settled, and will. And I even knew like framed and settled would prioritize each other over me. But I, I think I could trust the things they told me at least, which was where I was going with this. And then Will, I mean, he was my number one guy in the game. I've been friends with him for a long time. He was unallied. And I figured this is like the one guy that I can trust pretty much above anyone else. So going into next week, I felt no loyalty to anyone else except for those three. I had the amulet of power around my neck and I had a big chip on my shoulder.